Because uh, yeah. 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 to your right, you'll see it. You can look to your right. Just, I mean, so just don't turn around. Okay, Mr. Cameraman, this ain't no good angle. <laughs> turn back around. Right. Well, you can face me. You scared of me. Yeah. So, I have a small gift. Okay. But it's really big in my heart because it means a lot to me. So, as you know, we got the STEMI, you know what I'm talking about, and we was very responsible with it. And, you know, usually when we get a large sum of money, I always want to buy, like, some new expensive camera equipment and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. uh, I did a lot of research on what to get, and I didn't want to get any of it for me. Mm -hmm. But I thought of something for you, and it was a no-brainer because it's about your purpose and anything I could do to help you with your purpose in life, to even be a part of that, because I know your purpose on this world, and I've always told you that. Um, you were meant to be a beacon of light to a lot of people, and I don't think you even realized that, but I saw that in you the day that I met you. Mm -hmm. And that meant so much to me um, to know that I, I could be a part of that. So without further ado, you know I, uh, you know what, I'm gonna just hand you this. So this was a no-brainer for me because you have stories to tell and you have things to help people with mm -hmm. and your face needs to be where it's supposed to be. So I want you to get back to vlogging. And I know that, um, you know, I sold you your G7X. I know y'all was like, oh, wait, well, we haven't seen the vlogs in a while. I sold her camera. We was on hard times at the time and I just straight up sold it without her permission and I apologize, apologize to her uh, about it, but um, it was a jerk move. So I got you something that was way better than the G7X. Um, you. you know I don't like cameras. Know, huh? You know I don't know cameras, but I'm Yeah, so that very simple and easy to use because I know that was that was one of the reasons why when I saw her G7X, I was like, oh, you could just use one of my cameras. My camera's way too complicated. So she never used it. So I want her to have something that's simple and easy to just whip out. You can keep it in your purse mm -hmm. and whip it out. But And I know the next thing that you're worried about is like, okay, well, you don't like editing my videos, DJ. So why do you want me to vlog? So this is a part of a video where we are going to find you an editor. So the same reason why I found an editor so I can have more free time and focus on what I create, you need an editor as well. Okay. So we're looking for an editor, you guys. So make sure you leave your comments below. If you know anybody that's in interested in editing, I have a few people that I can use. But I want to give you guys a chance to, you know, if you got like a little nephew or whatever that interested in, in, in videos and stuff like that, make sure you leave a contact information below. Mm -hmm. So, um, but wait, that's not it. So I know that you love quality. And that's one of the reasons why should, we always do the sit down video because we use all the lights and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But I want to be clear, you don't need any of this. Mm -hmm. Your voice is enough. But because I know you love quality, so I got you a little, little microphone that you can keep on top. A case to put it in and I could, you're not going to be able to hold all this stuff. So. Got you some extra batteries. I got you a little expand because I know you like using the, the thing to hold it with. You don't like holding the camera itself. Because mm -hmm. I uh, you can, a mic. Yeah, yeah. And this is particularly cool. I'm interested to see how this works. Um, apparently, you can plug that up to your laptop and use it for like live streaming and stuff like that. Oh. So make sure y'all follow her on Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff because she's got tons of content that's going to be coming out and I'm going to hold her accountable to it. I'm excited about it, you know? I'm excited too. I'm really trying not to cry. The whole, like, because you told me you got an address. You said don't look on the Amazon. Mm -hmm. Orders because you got me a dress. I did not say I had got you a dress. I, I thought said, you said you got me a dress. I didn't say nothing about no dress. That's what I heard. A dress. And so I was like, one day I was like, this dress is not coming. And I went in the in the, in the Amazon cart and I was like, oh, this camera stuff there. I still didn't pay the mind because you always order camera stuff. And I was like, oh, okay. And I was like, well, I don't even see the dress here. And I got right back off. So, like, to know that this stuff is for me. I feel like, you know, I'm trying not to cry. Because I was just in the in the car. Um, the YouTube video that's about to come out. I was like, God, if I'm supposed to do this, just like, let me know. Because I'm tired of doing stuff that he didn't ask me to do. You know, thinking, you know, he did. But like, and then you give me all this stuff. So, you know. Thank you. <laughs> 
I love it. That'd be cool. Y'all, this woman means so much to me, and I know she means a lot to y'all. Y'all been commenting, we're asking where she's at, and uh, she's coming back, coming back real soon. So make sure you like and subscribe. We got tons of content coming out, all right? I'm speechless, and I'm never speechless, so. And you don't say a thing. Oh, man. I, until you start vlogging, then you can yeah, definitely right. talk on it. <laughs> like, my eyes are watering, and I'm trying not to cry because it's... Mm -hmm. This is crazy. It feel like it's confirmation, you know. Thank you, thank you <laughs> for confirmation. Hey, crew. Good morning. Good afternoon. I don't know what time it is. Whatever you guys are. Doing. The dogs get into stuff, but I got all dressed up, thinking that I was going on a date. I thought. I thought DJ said that he had time to go on a date. He has to shoot a wedding today. I was like, oh, let's, you know, before you go film the wedding, because he don't have to be there until I think like 3 o'clock. Like, let's have okay. a, you know, early morning date and just get out and talk. I thought he said, well, he did say yes. I didn't think he said yes. He said yes. Yeah. But it was a miscommunication because he thought I was going tomorrow. I'm all dressed up with nowhere to go. I'm so not used to this. This is weird Mama, right now. My, my tooth grown up to where it's supposed to be. It is? So my she's ready for the tooth fairy to come visit her. You want me to get out your seat? I do. Sit back. What is up, you guys? How's it going? So, yeah, we haven't done this in a long time. How you feel about this? It feels so awkward. It's and I awkward. don't like that angle because now... I'm, I'm used to being the on the other side of the camera. Right. Well, I mean, I'm up here though, and that's the only way. Cause if I do this, see, you ain't nothing but a set of eyes. You ain't nothing but a set of pretty eyes right now. So I gotta get you, you know. Yeah. This whole this whole angle is for you, baby. This I'll whole angle. All right, so guys, we are gonna be doing this uh, more. I'm looking how I'm looking, like like she used to say. For y'all, they used to rock with us back in the day. I'm looking how I'm looking. I ain't been to the barber shop. Uh, this is, I got the COVID face, you know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, so we're going to be doing a little bit more of this. And she thought the date was today, but I have a wedding to shoot today. So. I thought you said. Why are you barking at me? What you talking about, Rocket? Y'all haven't met Rocket before, huh? Hey, Rocket. Hey there, Rocket. Uh, date is tomorrow. Did yeah, I, I know, in? but I, I think thought I you in. said... No, I gotta, no, no. I got to get used to this button. Let me, I got to get used to this I, button. No. <laughs> I clearly said, let's go on a date today. But you just assumed, <laughs> what is that on you? Oh! Oh, uh, that's stuff <laughs> falling from the trees out there. Was it moving? Yeah, no, it's a bug. Oh. It's a bug. It's right there. It's a bug. Um, yeah, that's all kind of stuff falling from the right. trees out there. Right, yeah, but... I said today, because your wedding is at 3 o'clock, right? So I was like, maybe we could go for like brunch and, you know, just like hang out and... What guy said that? In your pocket. And we could like love on each other. Is and, this a pocket? You know, just have us time. You should have a pocket. Just have us time Mama. and... And that didn't... I'm upset about that. I'm like not used to this. I'm used to us sitting down, having the lights, and just on the couch, you know what I mean? And having a conversation with them. So this is like, this is like back, back. Back, was, back, back. Yeah, like three years ago. When Taking away is back. So yeah, this is weird for me. We're doing it live! Now we have to, you know, be patient with me so I can get back to the video. And this is another thing that, that doesn't happen when we, um, when we are just on the couch having a conversation with y'all. Y'all don't hear all of this craziness. Has anybody gotten out since, you know, the whole quarantine thing? I know a lot of people are starting to get out. You know, they're like, I got to live my life. I got to put on my mask and just go. It took me, I feel like. Are we going to the store? No, I'm, I'm just saying people are getting out the house now. I like to. You said we're gonna go to the store. Oh. Yeah, but. 
just gotta get out the house sometimes, y'all. I'm excited to get out the house every time, no matter where I'm going. I could be going to Mom, Walgreens, Walmart. Huh? Eric was telling y'all to stop kissing. I can't kiss your daddy. No. Y'all ready to go? Yeah. Yeah. I'm ready to go to Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A. They telling on their daddy right now. So we at Chick Fil A. I passed them their bag, and I'm like, you still gotta wait till we get home because oh, your hands and you have to wait till you get there to eat because your hands are not clean. And they're like, well, we were with daddy yesterday, and he let us eat our fries in the car. Because we your washed hands our are hands. not clean. Then he took them to the park yesterday with no mask. Now I understand, like, we actually got Your the virus. Your car was going back, we, no, Yeah, we had the virus in January because we decided to get out the house. And for the new year, we went to church. We had our masks on. Not everybody at church had a mask on. So, But a lot of people don't understand that when you wear a mask, it's to protect other people. So even though we had one on, we were like we were protecting everybody else but not everybody thanks to you know protect you and then plus i'm not gonna say no names but somebody was passing out candy at church and jet thought he could slip his mask up and put the candy in his mouth i'm like oh, I'm not, like everything all my anxiety is telling me this is a bad idea i'm like okay maybe it'll be fine a couple days later like jet uh, he just had a runny nose and then DJ started feeling bad and my little cousins, I actually took them to the urgent care because they were, my little cousin called me, she's in high school, she's like, my body is aching and I feel cold and then I feel hot. And so I'm like, maybe you got the flu, you know? <laughs> maybe you just have a cold. So I'm just, she like, no, I Googled it, I have every symptom. And I'm like, you know, I'm trying to, like, nah, that's not it. I ended up taking her to the, taking them to the urgent care and they got tested, they had it. And I'm like, I went the next day, I'm like, okay, maybe I need to get Mama, tested. I don't have any symptoms. Day. Maybe I need to get tested and then have the kids tested. So I did that. I'm like, cause we hang around them all the time. So me and the girls came back negative. Jet was positive, but they were still like, well, since just uh, positive, we, you know, we might not have symptoms yet and it might not be what, showing up yet, but we probably mean? have it. And then I was negative like, maybe you should go get tested, DJ. Mama. He went, he was positive. And I'm like, oh my God, it had to have come from us going to church. But DJ goes out and films weddings too. Like he's, he's been doing it. He slowed down when it first hit, but like we've never gotten the virus from that. So I'm like, maybe, you know, it has to be from church. He's like, he wears double masks when he films weddings. So, but anyways, so now people are starting to get comfortable and he took them to the park and in his car and he doesn't have any masks for them i keep it all in my car and so i'm like y'all didn't have masks on at the park and he's like no you know he apologized he's like you know i, I didn't even think about it because like we he's really comfortable now he thinks since but we had it, it we can't get it again so i don't know how that works y'all let me know down in the comments hey crew so it's the next day and we are going on a date he has another wedding today, but we're getting out a little earlier and we're gonna go hang out for a little bit and we're gonna bring you guys with us. So this man no, come get me in my get car. On the ground. I don't like this angle. Yeah, you way up there. Let me adjust the seat from Leprechaun. Shut up. Be. Shut up. Nobody told you to be a giant. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, and you, why you with me? You wouldn't have had no kids at all if I was five foot no. four. And no. why you with me? Cause you look good. That's the only reason yeah. with me. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but anyways, this man getting in my car, in my car, okay, and complaining, saying it's I not wasn't clean. You was blaming me. Cause like, okay, if I you go back it. to the clip, rewind. Go ahead and rewind it. <laughs> what were you? I was just looking for you. My car? Yeah, he cleaned up my car. Give him all type of props. You, you the best husband ever or whatever. <laughs> and I thought it. So I'm like, if I go in your car, I bet your car not clean. 
don't know. But he, he, he said he, he said, no, I didn't blame you. I'm just saying, I thought you said that you would, that you cleaned out my car. That was, that was it. And I was like, where? Where you cleaning out my car? Because it's still a mess. And this ain't the first time you got in my car and said something. But I was like, how many kids ride, how many kids ride with you? None. So you dirtying up your car all by yourself. He complained about how many pair of shoes I got in here. The kids bring shoes in here. And sometimes, Mom. like when they get out the car, I mean, like when we leaving from somewhere, they don't want their shoes on. So I'm like, just bring it in the car, just sit it in there. And then at night, we forget to, you know, I forget to take them out. There's so, a couple of pairs of shoes, some blankets, some pillows. It's, it was like cold. Case, every now and then you just got to move out the house, you know? Like, you just got to have everything with you. There's a whole RV back there in the back of this truck. I'm prepared for anything. Probably a small kitchen set. Plastic Speaking utensils. of kitchen sets, you never put her kitchen set together from her birthday, which I was February not. 28th. My. And she keep asking for a kitchen set. I'm like, wait, your honey got you a kitchen set. Your daddy just didn't put it together. Mama, where's my kitchen? Somewhere. Waiting on your daddy to put it together. But anyway, but he don't have tools. Your daddy definitely has tools. He has all the mouse tools to put it together. No. <laughs> spot for Hita Willis. We went to two other places, but apparently everybody's eating out today, so we did not go. I was looking forward to eating that snooze. Like, I've been planning that. Apparently yes. everybody else is planning that, too. Right. Yeah. To other people, we might come off, like, really boring, but we have, like, really deep conversations, and, like, we don't have a whole lot of conversations where we just like laughing and talking about nothing. Usually we talk about something because we try to get somewhere, you know? Right. Not to say that we don't laugh and talk. We do that a lot too, but 10 minutes into a conversation, like we, we get really serious, but like yeah. it's for the better, you know? Like how can we do better, you know? What's our purpose here? And I think that's nothing but the conviction from God, you know, trying to push us to wherever we want to, wherever we need to be in life, wherever he wants us, uh, he's really trying hard to push us down. We, we're here for it, you know? We could pass through like a really nice neighborhood with big houses and it's not like, oh, that's a big house. I wish I lived there. It's like, what do we have to do <laughs> to get that house? And then we start talking about teaching our children to balance checkbooks and then taking family trips. It went trips all the way it, right. It, I it was did. not left. It went right. <laughs> it went right, yes. How to create generational wealth and break generational curses. Right. That's where the conversations go. Yeah. As they should. I mean, because we've, we've never really just been surface people. Yeah. And I think, I think that's what... Our very first date, it was like right. we knew each other for years. That's what I was about to say. That's what drew us to each other is that we could just sit and talk for hours. And it's not just, you know, oh, I think you look good. Oh, I think, I think this. Good. Thank you. Y'all, she been working out. I'm trying not to get her pregnant again. They don't know when I used to work out twice a day. That's when I got pregnant with Iris. Can I tell them what you what you would like to do that I don't agree with? <laughs> get a vasectomy. Yeah, I do. He wants one, but he's been saying that. But you said that before we had Iris, and then I. I, um, I think I only really wanted to. Then Skylar was so rough. As a baby, we're dealing with that collar. Yeah. I like. I don't ever want to deal with it again. And so I already decided. Like Skylar was the last one, and then here comes Ares. Well, I didn't decide on on Ares. I love my baby to life. Okay, wouldn't trade her for the world. But that that 
that wasn't me. I was working out, trying to get my life together, trying to, you know, be my best self. And here you come. So y'all, we have not vlogged in a very long time. So let us know in the comments what y'all think about this. If y'all think we should go back to this or uh, if y'all appreciate our cost conversations, let us know. We can do both. We can I do mean, both, if, you know. Yeah, because the cops conversations are more structured. I feel like y'all will get, we're authentic on the cops conversations, but I feel like they will get more out of us vlogging. We would talk about a lot more yeah. than one particular topic trying to stay on subject. Yeah, because our vlogs get messy. Like, we he talk hates about, it. I can't stand the lack of structure. Edit. But you edit it together really well. And, you know, I always got to keep you on your toes so you never mm -hmm. know what I'm going to say. That's why we're hiring you an editor, so we ain't got to worry about it. You can just talk away. I'll let them send you a long email like Stacey. Don't send me no email. Mrs. Cocroft. And be like, what do we pay you for? Just cut, cut, cut. We have no idea what to do with this video. But anyways, y'all, we are going to sit here and talk a little bit more. Or are we now? So that's, that's what we're going to call it. We're going to talk a little bit, and uh, we will holler at y'all later, so... My name is DJ. And you better not bring your kids. No, I'm just <laughs> My name is Stacy. Out that down. Peace.